Hello everyone. Um, I was sitting in the shower today, as you can tell by my non-psychotic hairstyle, um, about the current state of unemployment in the United States, uh, as it relates to myself, obviously. For those of you that don't know, I am um, currently unemployed. Now, I've made many videos where I've said I'm unemployed, and that probably reflects poorly upon me, because how come I can't hold a steady job? Well, for those of you that have watched those videos, you also know the reason why is because I'm a union worker. For those of you that don't understand how a union operates as far as employment is concerned, and for those of you that do, I'll reestablish it. Basically, a union job is pretty much just a glorified temp job. You are a member of a union, whatever that union may be. I happen to be a member of the IBEW, Union Local 332. Um, I'm a sonic communications tech. Basically, what I do is I pull and ter terminate data cable. It sounds pretty fancy, right? But it's not. If you've ever been in an office building and you plug your computer into the wall so that you can do your work, I'm the guy that connects where your computer plugs in to the server and uh, switch and router that your computer connects to the internet with, as well as the intranet of the, of the business itself. That's what I do. It's really not that fancy. But I digress. Um, so basically, because of this particular job and the way that it works, um, a union dispatches workers to different shops that need workers for jobs. When that job runs out or winds down, certain members of that particular uh, hired group are released back to the union to be uh, reestablished in a new company. I've been in the union for almost three years, and I'd say that I have worked, the longest I've worked for one company was nine months. That's the longest of continual work that I've had with a company, but the work just winds down. I live in the Bay Area, so I have a lot of, or Silicon Valley more specifically, uh, so I have, there's a lot of uh, companies that are competing for the same type of business, terminating and uh, data cable, pulling data cable, getting the, the, uh, the cable uh, setups going. So there's a lot of companies out there, which means the work is spread out to all different, pla different places. However, that also means that with the competition, work slows down a lot. It's almost a seasonal gig, even though it's not a season, it's not seasonal work. So once again, I've been released. Um, I was released about two weeks ago, and I've been sort of finagling with unemployment. I just got my paperwork a few days ago. I'm going to send it in on Monday, and hopefully um, start collecting unemployment so that I can uh, get some money saved because of the kindness of the people that. I I'm with right now, the, the two wonderful people that have allowed me and Shiva to stay here rent free to give us the opportunity to generate funds so that we can pay bills and actually have uh, a small nest egg to actually get our own place when it comes time to do so. Um, but because I don't have work, I have no income to feed that. It's sort of a wacky situation and I've got more bills than I know what to do with so I'm, in a, I'm a bit of a blind. But the point of this whole uh, video is specifically to touch on the concept of unemployment. I was sitting in the shower, as I said at the beginning of this little, little uh, bit, and I was thinking about this email that I had gotten. Have you ever dealt with a recruiter, and I'm talking about a recruiter that's contacted you, or a recruiter that you've gone to? The way that these people make money is basically they have to have people come and apply with them. They need to show that they've got a certain amount of people that are looking in the directions that they're associated with. That's how they get companies to pay them. They get the best person available, hand them over, and they get, uh, you know, they get income that way. But the problem that I have with that system is they give out false hope to people that really, really need a break. They make money off, of the, off, the, uh, off the need of others because they don't give work to everybody. They give work to a select people and everyone else, they say, oh, sorry, you didn't qualify. You contacted me, Dick. You contacted me and said there was a job. I didn't come to you, so when I come to you, there better be a fucking job, but that's not how it works. And I think it's fucked up that we live in a society today, especially with the unemployment rate and the way that the economy is right now, that there's people who are making a living off of the suffering of others. I know that that's true all across the globe, but this is something a little bit less fucking political. This is something a little bit less, uh, you know, geopolitical. We're not talking about world events. We're talking about a simple fact that there is a business that makes money off of the hope of the needy. That's disturbing and disgusting to me. You know, it, it doesn't make any sense to me that it's okay for a group of people to say, hey, here's a job. Oh, no, it, oh, no job. No job. And, it, and they get paid for that. You know, if, not to mention the fact that these people, nine times out of ten, don't even look at your fucking resume. I've gotten contacted for jobs that I am not qualified for. I didn't even, I, I, there's nowhere on my resume gave you an idea that I would be able to do that. That would be like somebody sending me a resume to be a brain surgeon. I don't have a doctorate. 
I don't have a PhD, you know, a PhD. I, I'm not a brain surgeon. Why the fuck would you think, by looking at my resume, which on it says nowhere, anywhere on it, does it say I'm a brain surgeon, to send me a fuck, oh, well, we've got the job, we think it'll be perfect for you. It's just, there are a lot of people in the United States and a lot of people in this world that don't have work, that people are taking advantage of, and it makes me fucking sick. I was just thinking about that. It's just that, once again, it's just humanity abusing it, uh, abusing itself for the purpose of its own, uh, you know, uh, financial gain. There are people that sit behind a desk and collect a paycheck telling other people, sorry, there's no work. That's huge in the union. You don't know how many times I've sat across the table from somebody who said, we, we've got no work, we've got to let you go. And dude's collecting a paycheck the whole time. If there's no work, why the fuck are you still here? If there's no work, why the fuck are you here to tell me there's no work? If there's no work, why the fuck is the office still open? Oh, that's right. There's no work for me. You know, it just, I'm sorry, folks. It just, it, it boggles my mind. I'm not in a situation where this is uh, an adamant issue, but it has been in the past, and it's going to be in the future. I don't have the kind of work history that other people do. I don't have paths that I've taken. I've done all kinds of things. I've worked as a movie theater manager. I've been a FedEx courier. I've sold ham. I, I was uh, a tech support representative. I ran a land, a land gaming center at night. I've, uh, I've done all, I was an interior painter. I've done all kinds of things. I don't have a set path. I get bored with work and have to do something new and interesting to keep me interested for a couple years until I... Interested, interesting to keep me interested, imagine that. Um, until I get bored with that, and then I move on to the next thing. So yeah, I just, uh, you know, it disturbs me that there are people in this world that can do that, and do it with a fucking straight face. How do you go home at night and eat, knowing that somebody else isn't? Knowing that you told that person they don't get it, they don't get a chance to work. Uh, and you oh, well, it's not our fault you're not qualified. It's our, it's your fucking fault that you looked up my goddamn resume and contacted me because you needed to make a buck. I'm not saying that you shouldn't earn your, your money. I'm saying get a fucking better job than that. Because it's bullshit to have to fucking manipulate other people. And yes, you are manipulating other people by telling them, we've got work for you. And they go, what? No. Oh, they turn on the stick. <laughs> That's fucking bullshit. You're an asshole. I think every one of you fucking people should be made not to eat for a month. And every day, I come in and beat you with a bat and then let you know at the end of the day, I'm not going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to let you go. And they come in and early in the morning and slap you in the fucking head with a hammer. Oh, it wasn't a bat. Fucking dicks. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry, folks. I'm just irritated by this because it just disturbs me that people use people in this manner. I'm going to post this now.